has a video, it will show it to you. Recycle bin. So it's there. It's called the Web Assistant. It's on the top right corner, as you can see. Um, pretty good. Do they have this right now? Yes, they do. So if you're using Fiori Launchpad, or if you have not used it, you can use it. Uh, you know, it's installed by default. It's just the URL extension is different. All right, so this is Webby. Let me uh, open up a folder. Okay, so a few things. If I click on documents, it's going to show me all the documents. I don't know why, but yeah, that's what it is. So we'll stick with what we know, which is folders. Pretty easy. On the left, I have my favorite folder or my folders. And in there, I have all the reports that I need or I created or I have saved public folders. So it's the same. Just the icon and the UI is a little different, but so far it's uh, similar. IDT, bootcamp, you know, folders, subfolders, reports. There's an e-fashion report. Now, the idea behind this UI is it is touch screen enabled or available, basically. So you can take the biggest iPad that you have or the biggest Microsoft Surface tablet that you have, and then you can use this. So, yeah, no right clicks, basically. That's what we do not, we can't do it, you know, if you're just going to use a tablet. Right, so this is just an e-fashion report. This is the report uh, view mode right here. There are a few icons up here that are white. I'm pretty sure they'll improve it, you know, because <laughs> you can't see it till you hover your mouse over it, like, right, okay. Right? So, don't want you to test it. They're not. <laughs> they're like, what is this? Click on it. All right. One new thing that they have is auto refresh. So now you can keep a Webby report open and set up auto refresh and select, you know, how long do you want before the report refreshes again. And, you know, it'll just keep running on another screen if you want to keep it and it just updates the numbers. So, it's good, especially when you have operations dashboard that you want to display on a screen or something. You can just keep it up there. How do I get back to my screen? I click Home, Folder. What happened to my report that was open? Just click here, and you can see the report up there. So all the reports that are open will be shown up here. And once you click on it, you know, that's how you can get back to it. All right, uh, public folders. So viewing so far is easy. You can see the three dots. Basically, that is your right click. And, you know, you just click on it. And then you can see the same options. Everything's still the same. Uh, this is new. Mark as favorite. So mark it as favorite. It's going to show you a star. And hopefully it'll show on my screen. Screen, oh, there it is. So that's how you can create your favorites. Does the star doesn't show up again? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> how will they? Beta testing. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, these are just observations, but it's pretty obvious. It will stick there. You know, you, can, you should, you, they have a dedicated column for it. So it should show it to you. In the it's probably white. <laughs> Does it say favorites anywhere? That's true. Yeah, but hit the filter button and get the filter button right. It's just ascending or descending. That's about it. But yeah, that's it. What can I do with the folder? I can add, create a new folder, create publication in this folder. So. The same options that you had on the top left corner of your folder, whenever you are in the folder, it's just there. It's in the plus sign right now. Uh, and that's that. So report. Let's look at, uh, I don't know why I went back. Let's look at one report that's already made. Like, so this is a Webby 
dashboard kind of report that shows a good summary of a few things. The general layout right there, refresh, analyze, which means you can drill if you have hierarchy set up, fold, unfold if you had that set up, and track data changes so that it, every time you refresh, it will tally it against the last refresh and show you if the numbers change, highlighted, green, red, or orange. So same function, nothing is deprecated feature-wise. It is there, it's just a matter of figuring it out where it is. So, so far it's not bad. Document properties, um, the new thing that they added in document option is chart animation. So, ooh. <laughs> ooh. Oh. Webby does that now. And if I do an auto refresh, if I do an auto refresh, that chart will change again. If I, I'll keep it for the least amount of time so that I have to talk less. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna set itself up. It's gonna show it to us and every one minute, you can see the chart change. That will be your indicator that the data is refreshed, basically. So chart animations has been introduced because everybody wants visually appealing BI reports. Um, what else is new? Oh yeah, Web ES data source. I mean, I can show you how to get that, how to get started with it, but they haven't introduced the entire feature in there. Is it one minute yet? <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. In 4.3? Yeah. So no. The only one. It's the only way. Yeah, it's the only other no interfaces of this appear. It's HTML5. Sure, it is. Okay, very good. It's not even HTML5. Okay. Auto refresh. And it'll keep on doing that, so, yeah, we'll. All right, so we'll create a brand new report, and in doing so, we'll uh, hopefully see you know how different things are. So I'll go home and application web intelligence, the easiest and the fastest way. It's going to ask me obviously for our data source. Right, so universe as a data source, Webby as a data source, Excel as a data source, text. How many organizations actually do not allow text or Excel as a data source? I know few organizations don't. They don't want people to come up with their own data. They want to use database data that has been warehoused and you know data modeled. So you guys are free to do everything? No. No? no. Only from the universe, yes. Mm -hmm. So, so again, you know, it's an organization's choice whether to restrict this or not. And also, believe me or not, this is part of the customization that they're not going to have in the GA release. Right? Uh, freehand SQL and no data source. Uh, quite a few people have asked me, what's the point of this? No data source. Well, you can use no data source, get started with the report, and create a template. How many of us use templates in their organization for different teams? on the yard, <laughs> but that's good. So you can do that, you can create a Webby template based on different, different organizations or different departments within your team. If they have special logos or anything like that, you can have it in the report for them, in the header, whatnot, and the team can get started using that. And all they have to do is just copy a template, plug in the universe and start dropping in the objects. So if you have not thought about it, that's an idea. All right, universe, uh, first we'll look at this, web intelligence as a data source, double clicked on it. It's gonna show you all the Webby reports, basically, Well, we can't do anything about it because that feature is not available. <laughs> but at least we can see this is how it's gonna be, it's the same way. So data. Universe. 
universe. I'm just going to use financial sales. Same. I mean, object locations and everything is the same, right? The same box over here. The icons may have changed, but you know, co you, you will be able to correlate to it. It's pretty similar. What? Turn off? <laughs> Keep it off. <laughs> nope. That thing will come back again and again and again. All right. Uh, we'll select employee. All right. If you're watching this, you'll see the main icons that represented your dimension, attribute, and measure obviously has changed here. Right? I don't know why they selected, is it a flower petal, windmill? Uh, I don't know what, what is that, but <laughs> that's the icon for your dimension now. Uh, an attribute associated to that dimension or a detailed object has a highlighted petal on the right. Yeah, we'll stick with petal and a flower. Um, <laughs> no, the icon. <laughs> Revenue is still the same, just different color, uh, basically. But yeah, dimension, attribute, measure. So those are the three icons, three objects that we have selected. Um, product name, sure, let's just put that in. Everything is still the same as here before. Can I add subqueries? Yes, you can, still there. Can I add uh, combined queries? Yes, it's there. Just the icons have changed. Uh, yeah. In beta, we're not able to see the script, so that's limited, but it is there. So everything is there. The icons may have changed, but the locations of the objects is exactly the same as before. So more simple, at least the back end part is. Uh, query options, query summary, same thing. Default max row retrieved, was that three million? But that's where we can set up, right? Uh, you know, prompt orders, your, if you had contexts, you wanted to set up your context. Same, it's there. Um, what was that? Yes, that's new. So that is new, and even in a variable now, you can write comments. And they have introduced few new, uh, what do you say, features that we can use for variables. So I'll run this query, or you wanted to see data preview? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Run it. Last refresh time unknown. Insert, sure, new table. Where's my data? It's white. <laughs> no, it's, it's report two. Oh. I knew it. All right, so. So, everything's. Have, gone. Things have changed. No, I had it. It's blue. It's not blue. The default blue. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Double click on it, it'll expand, it still does. Did it not, no it did not. But yeah, so as soon as you hover your mouse over it, these things pop up, I know it's white. But you can sort it ascending, rank, uh, add it as a break, hide the column, or delete it. Or stick with the old fashioned method of right clicking on it if we have a mouse. So does, does this one have the custom grouping in, in the, what do they call it? Uh, blue is basically called blue, it's never called uh, something formatted. Additional formatting. Additional formatting. Yeah, it's still there, yeah. 
So none of the features have been deprecated, right? It's all there, it's just a matter of figuring it out. So this is a simple right click uh, where you can, you know, do whatever you want for that column. So you have to put the multiple mixes or What was that? You have to put I don't know three dots in the temporary. Well, if you don't have the right click thing, everything for that particular cell is up here. So all the features like ranking, sort, uh, it's all up here, and you can do formatting on it right here. So it's either right click, which is easy for us, because that's what we know, or if it's a touch screen, any object that you select, be it a cell, a table, or a chart, this middle column right here that shows you the settings and the format, this place is where you will see the options related to your selection. So that's, that's the only thing now that is different that they have changed. So it's moved this way. Report structure, you know, it's going to show you, you know, few people use report structure, but yeah, this, these are your objects. So you always had this on the left side. You can minimize those though, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, as much as we can. If I can. Uh, out the ladder real quick. I believe so. I mean, I can see, press arrow key to move. I don't see an arrow key. <laughs> Got the little dot that say you can. There we go. So I can maximize it. This is the minimum that this will go. <laughs> but that's the thing. I don't know if they will. Because they may give an option. Let's see what the user feedback is. Because everything that you do can be done with a right click. The only caveat is if you're using a touch screen device, this is a window that will be helpful for you. So you select your column, and then you can select what touch whatever you want, formatting or settings related to that specific cell or uh, you know, the whole table, see, block. So this will change. This shows me block one right now. When I click on revenue, it's the cell. So that's how it's going to be. So not much. Uh, has changed, file is file, you have options related to that, data, change my source, or view my data provider, just right there. Cancel this, right, change source, uh, to do. I mean, they will be working on it. <laughs> yeah, it says on the bottom, right? Um, insert, same thing, um, you know, right there. Uh, formatting wise, I wanted to show you. Yes, question? So same thing, right? Insert or turn into. Before you could right click and select your charts and graphs, it's just right here. So all the options are available in this intuitive box that shows the options based on your selection. Question? Anyone? Just an observation, why it's on the right-hand side now. If you think about using a touch screen to build a report, most people are right-handed, unlike some of us to the left that are the better people. <laughs> Boo. But oh, we pick bad. the column that we want, and then we go over to the right to actually select our things if we're using it on a touch screen, versus if you were had it on the left, if you pick your column, then you have to go to the right to 